From a Mustang in college to a Colt in the NFL, Kylan Granson, the first offensive player that Indianapolis has taken in the 2021 NFL Draft. Kylan, your immediate reaction to getting that phone call from Chris Ballard and Frank Reich on Saturday. Oh, man, I was I was shaking like a leaf as I was talking to him. You know, I was just more than excited. I mean, my aunt screamed, oh, he's coming home. He's coming home. You know, I was born in Indiana. I was raised there for a little bit. So, you know, it's more than it's more than just a pick in the NFL. It's more special to me than that. I'm coming home. You know, I'm just more than excited to be a part of the organization. Where in Indiana and how much time were you able to spend here? So I really lived in DeMott, the Rensselaer area. So really tiny town. So I'm about an hour away from Indianapolis. So, but yeah, so that's where I was originally from. How serendipitous is that then to begin your NFL career here and be taken by the Indianapolis organization? Oh man, it feels surreal. I mean, I mean, it's split halfway in my family, half the Bears fans, half the Colts fan. And I know, I know the Colts side is just losing their minds that I'm coming home. Yeah. <laughs> This fit for you offensively, we know how much head coach Frank Reich prioritizes tight ends in his offense. You also have a quarterback in Carson Wentz who heavily engages his tight ends in the receiving game. How, how much of a fit is this for you? How exciting is it to see the opportunity that you have? Oh, I mean, I think it's a perfect fit. I mean, I love when a coach loves his tight ends. You know, I feel like he loves – Frank Reich loves his tight ends more than most. So, you know – Having him and Carson Wentz, someone who loves to utilize his tight ends, I feel like it's just going to be a perfect fit for me. So I'm just I'm, I'm just excited. <laughs> How much interaction were you able to have with the Colts throughout the pre-draft process and maybe conversations that you did have with Frank Reich? Uh, I know that um, the Colts had a, a big conversation with, you know, Coach Dykes and uh, my tight end coach, Coach Martin, you know, and I feel like from the conversations they had and then the conversation I had with the tight end coach when we did our Zoom meeting, you know, we just really hit it off. And I think they really liked me as a player. They liked how intelligent I was. They liked my skill set. You know, I just think I was the perfect fit for where Indianapolis is. We can read all of the scouting reports and everything that cite, of course, your ability as both a pass catcher and as a blocker. We heard the analysts say immediately after you were selected that you have wide receiver skill with that tight end frame. What are we not going to read about you, though, and we should know about you? Oh, man, my intelligence. I mean, no one, everyone forgets I came from Rice and I came from SMU, and those are both great schools. I mean, I feel like the reason I'm so successful as a tight end is I'm just, I'm just so cerebral with my gameplay. You know, I'm able to manipulate defenses and stuff and re recognize what I'm going up against. And so I feel like I'm just able to get into windows a lot quicker than some other guys. Um, but, yeah, just being able to be very adaptable from a tight end pos uh, position is just more than invaluable. In doing a quick study of your highlight reel, you're also a playmaker on special teams as well. We saw you recovered an onside kick to win a game for SMU just a couple seasons ago. How much do you prioritize your versatility also in coming into the NFL? Oh, man, my versatility to be on special teams, on offense, you know, I just – I feel like the, the sky is the limit for as far as my playing time is, you know, special teams. Is, I mean, football is a game of inches. And so if I need to make my spot start on special teams, I'll be more than happy. But I could see myself being on offense as well. Coming out of SMU, one of the, the smaller schools to see guys drafted out of. You're going to join a room with Jack Doyle, who comes out of Western Kentucky. And he always notes how much motivation he took from maybe being one of those guys who was underestimated in the impact he could have in the NFL. How much motivation do you draw from that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, SMU, we used to be in the small little private school that no one thinks is going to do that much. And then, I mean, I have that chip on my shoulder already. And then just hearing what the analysts have to say, and you know, I mean, it's just digging that chip even more. So I can't wait. I'm more than ready to get to this journey, and I'm so motivated. I'm ready to go. Well, we can't wait to get here to Indianapolis. I'm sure you're going to be hearing from your new teammates. If you haven't already, probably Jack, Mo Alley Cox, a couple of the other guys as well. We look forward to seeing you here in Indianapolis and bringing you home very soon. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to it.